Hi, I'm Rachel from Gentle Frog. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. If you're having issues with your bookkeeping, please follow the link at the end of the video to schedule a one-on-one -on -one appointment with me. Thank you. In today's video of custom QuickBooks training, I want to talk to you about how and why to reconcile your bank account. In this example, I'm going to use the sample QuickBooks online file called Craig's Design in Landscape Service. I want you to think of reconciling as being the same thing as balancing your checkbook. So in essence, what you're doing is you're saying, I want to compare the information that is on my bank statement with the information that appears in my QuickBooks online file. The reason that you're doing this is to look for anything extra. Do you have too much stuff in your QuickBooks? Or look for anything that's missing. If you have anything in your QuickBooks that is inconsistent with what's on your bank statement, that means that you have mistakes within your QuickBooks, which means that you have mistakes on your financial reports. Even I, who loves bookkeeping, would rather not do the same thing twice. So I encourage you to kind of look through your books with the idea in mind that you're looking for mistakes or you're looking to catch yourself doing something right. So let's go ahead and reconcile the bank account. To reconcile the account, there's a handful of ways to get to the reconcile screen. I'm just gonna use this one for the example of this video. On the left hand side, I'm gonna choose accounting and then I'm gonna choose reconcile. The first time that I do this, I get a handful of pop-ups. The first one is the shopping lady. There is a video, so if my video doesn't make sense, go ahead and watch this video. What you'll wanna do is you wanna select get started. And then it says reconcile like a pro. Open your bank statement, 100%. Match it to your books, success, your account is reconciled. I'm gonna go ahead and select, let's do it. So it says, what account do you wanna reconcile? And then I have a drop down list of options. In this example, I'd like to reconcile my checking account. It says, what's your beginning balance? This is not a field you can edit. This is whatever your beginning balance is in QuickBooks. What is your ending balance? The answer is we don't know. We have to look at our bank statement. Let's go ahead and grab our bank statement. No surprise, I have a sample bank statement for us to use. So example bank USA, um, we're a little bit behind on our reconciling. This is February and we're reconciling the bank from October, but it's better late than never. Words of the wise, I want you to reconcile your account one monthly statement at a time. Even though you might be able to reconcile six months uh, all at once, please do it one month at a time so you catch any potential mistakes. So what I can see is that my ending balance as of October 31st is 49.25. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose 49.25. And then my ending date is October 31st. Anybody who's looking at this can see that I've made a mistake. So let me go ahead and fix this, edit PDF. I'm actually gonna use this to teach a class later today, so I might as well fix it real quick. So close and the safe. Okay, our statement date, October 31st. Uh, so let's go ahead and put that there, 10-31-21, and then start reconciling. As you'll find is common, there's gonna be a handful more pop-ups. So I'm just gonna go ahead and clear them away. If you wanted to read the pop-ups before they go away, you can always pause this video to read those pop-ups. So now again, what I want to do is I want to mark or put a check mark to the right of anything that appears on my bank statement. I do not want to put a check mark on things that do not appear on my bank statement. So the first thing on my bank statement, um, looks like it's a deposit for $175. Within my QuickBooks in the deposit column, I can see 175. I'm gonna select the box to the right of 175. Let's go back to the bank statement. I can see the next thing I have is a check for $250. When I go back to my QuickBooks, I can see that there's a payment, a check, check number 12, for $250. Now what I have is my difference has gone to zero, and it might be really tempting to click finish now, but I want you to stop and just take a moment to think about why you're doing this. 
why you're doing this is to see and confirm that you don't have anything lingering in your checking account that does not show up on your bank statement. And if you do have anything lingering that does not show up on your bank statement, do you know why? Did you make a mistake? Is it something that'll get cashed later? Is it sitting on your desk and you have to take it to the bank? It doesn't matter to me what the answer is. I just want you to ask yourself, is this something that's okay and will probably get resolved next month? Or have I made a mistake that is affecting my financial reports, which in turn is affecting my decision as well as affecting my taxes? So when we look at this and we say, okay, bill payment, check number 10, payable to Robertson and Associates, wrote the check on 10-6, my bank statement's 1031. Like, yeah, they should have cashed it, but I'll give it one more month. And, and if I don't see that it got cashed on my November statement, I might call them and just ask, like, did you guys get the check? Do you need me to reissue the check? Like, what's the plan here? So I'm not worried about that. If I was looking at this and I saw that it was a transfer, maybe from checking the savings, or maybe it was a payment to my credit card, or maybe it was a trip to Starbucks, I would say to myself, my gosh, that happened. Like, that's definitely on my bank statement. Like, I don't know why it's sitting here because it's, it's on my statement, or maybe I see it twice and I've marked off one and not the other. That's the sort of thing that I need you to investigate and correct. If you're not sure how to investigate and correct it, let me know. I'm more than happy to help you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select finish now. I'm gonna show you one more thing before we're done. Okay, it says that you've reconciled this account. I'm gonna select done. Now what I like is that sometimes I get busy and I don't get a chance to reconcile my checking, my savings, my PayPal, my credit card, and I get interrupted. In the upper right hand corner, you can click on summary when you click on summary, it's gonna show you a summary of all of the accounts you've reconciled and when you've last reconciled them. So in this case, I've only ever reconciled my checking account. I reconciled it through the statement ending in October and the reconciliation happened today. If you had a longer list, you would see checking and savings, credit card one, credit card two, your loans, all that other stuff. This will just tell you where did you leave off? Hopefully this information has been helpful for you. If there's anything that I can do to help you or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much.